Hello YouTube, Tula here. I'm trying something different today. I'm trying to do a voiceover so that um, I can save you guys some time. I usually talk before I write and then I'm silent as I write. So I, I'm trying this new method and hopefully it will prove good and useful and you will like it and I will like it and everybody will be very happy <laughs> Amen. Um, what's going on today I'm starting working on a new artwork I want to make a mixed media piece that will combine <coughs> sorry that will combine writing calligraphy and a visual image and that will probably be in pastels because that's my new fascination and I'll, I'll talk about it in a little bit but I want to introduce my subject first and that is we move through life in spirals and this is what I'm writing here in the background I I'll start at the end pretty much. This uh, sentence that I keep saying to myself evolved into a poem. I would like to read you the poem so that um, we can concentrate on that. I will probably edit it in now. We move through life in spirals, going forward, twirling upwards, yet revisiting familiar places. We move through life in spirals, seemingly facing time and time again those same old issues. We move through life in spirals, even if it feels like you are back where you started. Pause. Look. We move through life in spirals, with new knowledge and maturity each and every time. We move through life in spirals. Winding, twisting trails are not so easy to gauge. We move through life in spirals. One of these days, as you look back, you will see it. The dizzying length you've traveled, clear as day, you have changed. So this is the poem. I started with that just a sentence and as I, I I took my dog for a walk and I was thinking how can I explain in the visual the whole concept of revisiting and as we were walking sentences started um, getting composed in my mind and when I came home I sat down and I refined it and I wrote this little poem and I think it serves the purpose pretty well because I, I think it, um, it embodies the feeling of the spiral the way it is written with the repetitiveness of, of, the, of the first line we move through life in spirals and yet, in each verse, we get a new layer of information or a new aspect of this uh, concept. So I think even by itself, the feeling of the spiral is here. Um, I enjoy thinking of the of the tension that could be created using the different mediums the the ink is um, a wet fluid uh, medium the the pointed nib writing is the the dip pen is very thin lined and I think elegant and refined and there's a delicacy to to the to the calligraphy 
and the pastels are dry and um, dusty and for me at least uh, there is a roughness a, a rough express expression I can express myself very quickly and roughly with them and I think this difference creates an interest so I'm very curious to explore that I am only in the initial stages of thinking of what I want to express in the visual I know I want the text there, I, I know I want it readable and I also know that I'm going to edit it in the computer I'm going to edit it digitally so because the um, the uh, the nib, the ink and nib and the pastels can't work together. I can't put either one on top of the other. So I am going to create each part by itself and combine them in the computer. I like that from another aspect. Well, I, I like it for several reasons. First of all, I have a beautiful new professional printer with uh, pigment inks and I got some very, very nice high quality paper for it. So I like the idea that the end result will be a print that is actually an original. There will not be a um, a more original uh, hard copy than the print that I will make and I like that, I, I enjoy it. Um, also, I did this once when I, I made a wrote for another artwork and I decided that I will write and I will edit my text in the computer so I'm trying, I'll do the same here, I'm trying to keep it as close to the original, as close to what I initially wrote, but if uh, a letter doesn't come out right, or a word, or something is off, I have the freedom to take it out and replace it in Photoshop. And as a perfectionist, this really relieves me. This knowledge allows me to write more freely because when writing such a big ch chunk of text, if you get one word right, wrong sorry, and you have to start over, it's very frustrating. And so I put a lot of pressure on myself to get it just right. And while I don't need it to be perfect and well, I can't get it perfect because my handwriting still isn't perfect. But um, there's no need for that. First of all, there's the digital editing. And second, the text doesn't stand by itself. It's going to be part of, of something larger. So it doesn't really matter. And nobody will care or see a little shake in an upward stroke. Uh, what else did I want to tell you about this? Oh yes, this is um, this is an important part. Um, that this is something that I learned in copywriting. That um, when you have text and a visual, you don't want them both to say the same thing because then they will just overlap and the message will be very flat optimally what you have is some aspects coming through the text and other aspects coming through the visual and then they complement each other it's like one and one equals three 
each one of them gives um, it's like a yin and a yang the, um, each one gives you uh, more information or knowledge or feeling or and okay you 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 understand what I'm saying right I, I said it twice or, or three times already so this is very important and uh, for example in this piece when I started thinking about it before I wrote the poem I only had the the sentence we move through life in spirals and of course my initial idea was to write it in a spiral in a curving curling shape and that is the one dimensional message and luckily I, I stopped and thought and decided that uh, I want something with a lot more depth so I still have no idea where this will be going I will do my very best <laughs> to add, to document the process and to share my my thinking because I'm always most curious about the thinking process and the planning and the initial stages that uh, bring something to to surface, not just the technique of making it. So I will try to to share that with you and I hope the this new method of editing and adding the voiceover works and that it's uh, enjoyable and I'll see you later bye bye thank you